All right, after all that football talk, it's time for cricket. Love the cricket on this Friday edition of the Sportsmax Zone. Joshua De Silva was the standout Windows performer by scoring a century on the final day of their three-day warm-up match, which ended in a draw against the Cricket Australia 11 in Adelaide. West Indies declared on 315 for five in their second innings, with the silver top scoring with 105, while Kevin Hodge fell for 99 to add to his first innings 52. Kevin Sinclair then took three for, for 38, while there was one wicket apiece for Gudakesh Moti and Justin Graves as the Cricket Australia 11 ended their second time at bat on 149 for five, chasing an improbable 300. 93 to win the contest. West Indies skipper Craig Brathwaite says the team for the first test has been decided. Player on 11. You know, I'm very happy with how all the guys went about the camp, went about this game, and you know, obviously it's, it's, it's time, you know, it's time next month, next next week. Sorry, you know, to, to make West Indies proud. West Indies captain, the test captain, Craig Brathwaite. Let's get to the captain of the Sportsmax Zone. Well, the cricket segments on the Sportsmax Zone, Fazir Mohammed. Faz, it's great to have you back on the show. How are you doing, Skip? I'm not doing too badly. In fact, the, I should mention, hopefully you're hearing me loud and clear. I'm, I'm not hearing you guys too clearly. I'm hearing as if it's coming from the production studio. But anyway, I, I can more or less decipher what you're saying, but go right ahead. <laughs> Faz, your feeling on the performance from the West Indians in the three-day warm-up game against an inexperienced Cricket Australia 11? Encouraging. Uh, let, let's face it. The, the West Indies are massive underdogs for, for many different reasons. The quality of Australia, World Test champions, the lack of experience of the West Indies, uh, seven uncapped players, as many as three, are likely to make uh, their test debuts come Tuesday night our time. But yes, against a team that is really significantly inexperienced as well, and, and I thought you made an important point in the discussion about this yesterday, Ricardo, that we need to put that in context when we're talking about how the West Indies are likely to fare against Australia. So, so yes, the performances, many of them were quite encouraging, against an inexperienced Cricket Australia 11, but it's going to be a very, very different and much more daunting challenge taking on the World Test Champions in Adelaide. Yeah, I want to get your thoughts on a couple of players quickly. One, um, Joshua De Silva, who got a century 105 in the second innings of the warm-up game, and Shamar Joseph, who um, had tongues wagging with his... Uh, tremendous pace um, in the first innings. Again, context. Uh, Joshua De Silva played a poor shot in the first innings, got out, but then really buckled down. And uh, when you hear him talk about coming back to Australia, he recognizes that now, even with his relative lack of experience, three years, or, although that's enough cricket, he has got to be one of the leaders. And I thought he approached the second innings that way. Uh, a pity that Kevin Hodge wasn't able to complete 100 as well. So it's important that someone like a Joshua De Silva, obviously it goes without saying his role as keeper, he's got to be flawless. You can't be missing chances against Australia. We saw what happened with Pakistan when they missed those chances, especially at first slip. So that's that's a given. You don't, you don't need to be arguing too much about that. In front of the stumps, though, he needs to do a lot better. And you can only hope that his time in the middle, in the second innings of that match, is really going to put him in good stead, taking on the quality of Australian test bowling that he's going to face. Yeah, no, a number of reports, a, a number of reports fans expressing concern about the men who will likely bat at numbers three and four for the West Indies in the first test, Kurt McKenzie and Alec Athenes, because um, they did not get off in this warm-up match. How concerned are you with their form heading into this test match and also the form of the opener, Tej Narayan Chandapal? It's very concerning because, again, it, it, it will sound repetitive, but you're taking on the best team in the world. So, therefore, at least some time in the middle, some runs in the middle, against any opposition should serve you in good stead because spend a lot of time in the nets but 
for, for those who, who have played the game at the highest level, they always talk about time spent in the middle, getting a tune, feeling the, the ball on, on bat, you know, running between the wickets, all these different things. And when you miss out, as we saw in the, with, with those two, scores of 23, 0, 9, and 15, a combined 47 runs from four innings from your two incumbents in the middle order, that's not an encouraging sign. So, so yes, there, there will be concerns because, because again, if Craig Bradford falls cheaply, Tignan Tedron and Chandipal doesn't show the resolve he showed in his debut series against these same opponents some 13 months ago, it, it could be really a, a, a catastrophic collapse. Yeah, and in 30 seconds, fans, one final one. I, I don't know how much you care about um, the final 11, given the relative inexperience of so many of the players, but I've been looking at it. Earlier this week, I said I was looking forward to seeing someone like a Kevin Sinclair. But when I was really looking at it today, I thought to myself, it is quite possible that he doesn't play in the opening test unless they decided to either go with two spinners or they made a decision not to play someone like Justin Graves or Kavimaj and with Hodges' performance with the bat in this warm-up match, it is unlikely he won't play um, and then it would mean the Silva would have to bat at number six. Um, I don't know if you have any thoughts on what that final 11 should or could look like on Tuesday. Well, I had actually come up with a 12. Let me go through it quickly because I know you're pressed for time. <laughs> I was going Brathwit, Chandapol, Mackenzie is a question mark because I don't think he's guaranteed even though he's an incumbent. Athenes, Graves, Hodge, De Silva, Alzari Joseph, Shamar Joseph, Kemar Roach, Kevin Sinclair, and Gurukesh Moti. Mm. That's my 12. And <laughs> Faz, that's possible. everybody's 12. <laughs> the, okay. the question so, is now, what's the 11 going to be? But maybe we can discuss that 11, on Monday. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave out Mackenzie because I want to give, I want to put some faith in my, my bowlers. Yes. Uh, the, the, the batting, one extra won't, won't make a difference given the inexperience. So I will leave out Mackenzie and put in Gurukesh Moti. That's my 11. Yeah, fair enough, Faz. Appreciate it. We'll chat again soon, um, likely on Monday, ahead of the first test, which starts on Tuesday evening, Caribbean time. Take care. Take care. Yeah, West Indies versus Australia. First test live Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. in Jamaica, 7.30 ECT. And yeah, you'll want to see it. You'll definitely want to see it. I can guarantee you something will happen. Hopefully, it will be positive for the West Indies. Let's take a break.